Hello everyone, I'm Jake. Hunyuan 3D version 2.1 has been out for some time. However, Kajai's wrapper, since adding the simple model generation node for version 2.1, has not completed the multi-view generation and PBR texture generation functionalities. As a last resort, I incorporated a custom node for the Hunyuan 3D 2.1 wrapper created by another author into my workflow. This custom node includes all features of Hunyuan 3D version 2.1. Let's first look at the final baked results from version 2.1. The three textures are the Delete Albedo or Base Color Map, Specular Map, and Roughness Map, respectively. You can see a preview of the PBR material in the model window, but the final result still needs to be adjusted in traditional 3D software. As you can see, the model generated by Hunyuan 3D 2.1 is very close to the original design concept. The high fidelity of the model and the generation of PBR textures are qualitative leaps for version 2.1 compared to version 2.0. Starting from version 2.1, Hunyuan 3D supports reference images with alpha channels. I've added a toggle here for whether to enable images with alpha channels. It's enabled by default. If you choose to disable it, images with backgrounds will be used. You can select the background color in the previous background filling process. My test results show that different background colors or transparent backgrounds have a significant impact on the generated outcome. Personally, I still think the results with a transparent background are better. Please note, there's also a toggle here for the model reconstruction method. Whether to use the 2.1 model generation node from Kijai's 2.0 wrapper or the model generation nodes from the 2.1 wrapper. By default, the nodes from the 2.1 wrapper are used. This is because it is faster. After model reconstruction is complete, it needs to be optimized. Here, I'm still using Kijai's node, so I won't elaborate. Please note that the model optimization node in Comfy UI currently has limited functionality. It's recommended to use tools in traditional 3D software for read apology and repair. This is necessary to meet commercial grade requirements and to ensure better results when baking textures from high poly to low poly models later on. After the model optimization is complete, we'll create multi views. The workflow now includes nodes from the 2.1 version wrapper. The process is very similar to the node provided by Kijai, but there are a few points to note. First, the input mesh model must have UVs. If not, then you need to enable the automatic UV unwrapping feature or enable automatic UV unwrapping simultaneously within the multi-view generator node. Second, multi-views generated by version 2.1 are automatically delighted, and the results are better than those from the dedicated delighting model in 2.0. Version 2.1 supports up to 32 camera poses. I am currently using 10 cameras. At the same time, it also generates a multi-channel texture, which looks strange at first glance, but actually contains two material properties. Red represents specular, and green represents roughness. It can also generate position maps and normal maps. However, because 3D data acquisition and multi-view sampling are completed within the same node in version 2.1, only a preview is provided here, and it's not necessary to save. This is different from the 2.0 versions node. A few parameters to note. View size refers to the resolution of the multi-view, and 768 is recommended. Texture size is the resolution of the baked texture. It has no effect during the multi-view generation process and only influences the node's pipeline output. In my workflow, I separate multi-view generation and texture baking into two processes, and between them, the multi-views still need refinement and upscaling. This node combines multi-view generation and mesh rendering, the preliminary process for texture baking, into one. In the Kijai version, the two are separated. This is a drawback of the 2.1 multi-view generation node. Here, I've added a parameter that allows you to choose whether to stitch the output multi-views into an image grid for subsequent image refinement and upscaling, or to directly upscale them into the final multi-view textures. 
in the image grid, each image is 1024 resolution, and 10 images are combined to form a 5120 by 2048 image. I won't elaborate on the image refinement and upscaling process. If you're interested, you can watch my first video tutorial on Hunyuan 3D. If the option is disabled, it will directly output 10 multi-view images at 2048 resolution. An upscaling model is used. Let's look at the texture baking process. Use the Use Multi Views node to obtain the pipeline data for mesh model rendering. View size has no effect here. The main parameter is texture size, and currently the node only supports a maximum resolution of 2048. I have already submitted a PR to the author to support 8192 resolution, and testing has been successful. Load the albedo and material multi views separately and run to complete texture baking. We have albedo, specular, and roughness property maps, but how do we obtain ambient occlusion, normal, and other maps? Besides the MTB custom node provided in the workflow, are there other methods? We can obtain them by baking from a high poly to a low poly mesh. Let me demonstrate this in Substance Painter. Load the optimized mesh with UVs. As you can see, this is the low poly mesh and its UVs are on the right. Click on Bake Mesh Maps. Adjust the output resolution and load the high poly mesh. You can see that the low poly mesh has intersections relative to the high poly mesh and the red parts indicate anomalies. This is because the mesh optimization in this example was done in Comfy UI. Remember what I said before, mesh optimization is best done with read apology in traditional 3D software. For this demonstration, I'll ignore this issue for now. Select the material properties to bake. You can also set parameters according to your actual situation. Click the bake button. Return to texture painting mode. Check the textures. Although the baked textures are not ideal, the overall process is fine. Hunyuan 3D 2.1 combined with Substance Painter can achieve commercial grade meshes and PBR textures. Finally, let's look at the file directory structure. There's a subdirectory named after the project name within the Comfy UI output folder. Inside it, there's a high 3D subdirectory. All meshes will be stored in the mesh subdirectory, including reconstructed, optimized, and texture meshes. These two directories store multi-views, including albedo or base color multi-views, and material multi-views containing specular and roughness. The MV texture directory contains the optimized and upscaled albedo or base color multi-views used for final baking. The baked textures are stored in the texture subdirectory, where C stand for albedo or base color, are for roughness, and S for specular. Thanks for watching.